I took like four or five turns to go out and explore, and so much stuff has happened, I, I needed to cut back in and show the chaos that is ensuing. And this is the first thing I wanted to show you. No, not the fact that my settlers are surrounded by two eagle warriors, but the fact that these settlers are surrounded by... Pfft, I, what is this, 12, 14? 14 eagle warriors? I, I don't even know if I want to count them all right now. Somebody will leave them in the comments. It's it's like it's like 13. This is this is just chaos. I don't know how many of these dudes have just been sitting here for thousands of years. Maybe maybe not thousands. It's still 400 BC technically. So I don't know about thousands, but that's that is insane. So that makes me a little bit nervous. Um, again, these these things are not as much of a threat as they used to be. They were a way bigger threat 50 turns ago. Now. Not as much. Um, they can still do qu quite a bit of damage. Like, they're going to be pissed when I when I settle this city. They are going to lose their mind, I think. Um, so, I'm, I'm a little bit nervous about that. One thing that I can do is, is maybe make things a little better. Come on. Nope, not today. What about tomorrow? I'll ask again tomorrow. We'll see. Um, another thing I can do, though, is give him open borders. Now, this might not be a good idea, but I'm going to do it. Okay, so he's going to accept that. Now, let's check on our relationship. Uh, I also met Egypt. We'll talk about Cleopatra. Uh, as soon as possible, well, as soon as we can, but not, not yet. So I got up the furs, which are online, so that has helped our relationship a little bit more. Uh, if I send him a trade route, I will unlock all of this stuff. I'll be able to figure out, uh, enough about our relationship. And I might do that, but we still have some time before I get up an extra available route. So, we'll, we'll see. I just need to also, like, if I send him the delegation, that would have been nice. We'll see. But, um... Yeah, so this is getting very, very intense. I've also explored a little bit more because I got open borders with Gilgamesh. I've been kind of exploring. We met Egypt over this way, and this continent is really strange. I don't know why I never considered what would be beyond just east of this massive mountain range. Like, this is an incredible mountain range. I have yet to see something like this this massive just dividing the continent up. Uh, so, yeah, I guess Egypt's going to be over here. So she already doesn't like me. She already denounced me. That is because Egypt respects people with big militaries. So like civilizations with powerful militaries and we'll try to ally with them to avoid damaging military military conflicts, whatever that means. Avoid damaging military conflicts. Okay, whatever. Uh dislikes civilizations with weak militaries. Apparently, apparently I'm not good enough, okay, for Cleopatra. Okay, but uh but she's I she she's really sexy. I'm just going to be honest here. It's kind of hard. It's kind of like not not cool because I want to be her friend, but uh, you know, whatever. It, it does, doesn't matter, Drew. Just just shut up. Okay, so here we go. Uh, I have just finished researching construction, so we need two of these technologies. I need this, I need this to, and I need to boost feudalism, but I won't be able to get to that civic anytime soon because, uh, well, we have to do theology because I need to get access to the temple because India's bugging the crap out of me with, uh, with Hinduism. So we're going to go machinery for now. And to get our crossbowmen. We're going to build the ancient wall. So this will be boosted in like a turn. Because I'm building it. Yeah, one turn. And I'm building a library also in Cairo. So we need to gear up for this war with the Aztecs. And continue to explore. I'm also going to find this city. And I might not go for the extra housing actually. Uh, I kind of want to make sure that we have access to. Well, we don't need two for. Uh, getting getting two uh, of the same luxuries is a lot more important. I believe one provides amenities for four cities. If you get two of the same amenity, it still gives, it still provides extra amenities for four more cities, if that makes any sense. So, um, so yeah, getting duplicate amenities is a little bit better than before. I guess I could just settle here. I could settle on the wheat, technically, and then only be, yeah, I mean, we could say screw these furs. I don't want to be too close to the tundra. That's kind of my issue right now. Don't want to be too close to the tundra. Yeah, I think this is not bad. And we also have incense, so incense will also be a duplicate amenity. So, it's it's okay. Um, Gilgi here is building a ton of his uh, tile improvements, which is interesting. It looks like these guys are getting ready for war. Hey, Gilgi, how do you feel about Cleopatra? Oh, okay, so she obviously denounced you because not too long ago you had the weakest military in the world. I was second to last. That's kind of strange because I'm not even that low. Dude. She got high standards, I guess. She's got high standards. I don't know. Okay, so let's check out this desert. I'm exploring with this random warrior. Um, and I'm just now trying to continue to explore over this way. It's like a large inland lake in this map, which is interesting. I don't know. And I think we're going to reach the top here. Okay, 
So we've met a new city-state, Geneva. Science, good. We've met a lot of city-states, actually. Uh, it's the faith ones, though, that I want to be cool with. The faith ones. So I need to check on the suzerain bo bonuses for some of those faith. Oh, geez, this is scary. Because you know what? This new city that I find, that I, that I will find, is going to be completely uh, unprotected. Jeez. Also, yeah, India is pushing... India is pushing Hinduism hard, and it's like... Uh, I don't have the faith to compete up, compete with them at the moment, so we're gonna have to wait and hopefully go. You know, I, I've known that as Arabia, you have to go for a late game science victory. Like that's kind of the way they build the sieve. So that wasn't a super big, super big surprise to me. So I'll be good with my four cities. I, I would eventually like a few more units, but let's just save up some money. Uh, and encampment would be good for defense. I think we should, if we're going, yeah, we do need a holy site. Obviously, Drew. Five. Oh, man. Yeah, that would be amazing. But, oh, that is really, really great. I can get four here, too, though. It's not, I'm not replacing anything. I think I should do it. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Because there's no resource there. It's And it's okay. It's not terrible. It's just okay. Yeah, boom. We're going to get an amazing holy. We probably only need, like, two holy site districts. And we that might be enough to generate... You know, tons of faith to maybe win us the game. Hey, look at the Aztecs over here with their own galley. That's nice. A couple of ruins that I'm thinking about going going after. Yeah, I think I want this. Oh, we can actually reach out and get the cattle eventually. So this is good. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, the housing, it's worth it, man. It's worth it. It's worth it on those high, higher difficulties. Uh, I'm seeing the, the marsh here, and marsh just provides so much extra food. But, um... But it's fine. If I have all this extra food and I don't have the housing, then there's no point. And that's something that I need to keep in mind for the future. Like, that's just, that's so important. Okay, so yeah, we want granary for growth first, and then we go monument next. Because I don't know, I mean, compared to the rest of the world, you know, we're doing okay. But yeah, I mean, Gilgi and, and Cleopatra kind of pulling away. I don't know where I want to go. This is a continent's map mode. I, I don't think there's... I, I don't know. This is a pretty large map. This is pretty crazy right now. Okay, boom. So we're going to work that. We might need an additional build, builder for the next two cities that we just found. I still have one more action point with this builder. So I can go up and improve this tile here. Unless I wanted to put a farm down. Um, how is Cairo... Yeah, Cairo's running out of housing anyway. So yeah, we, we'll build a mine. We'll continue to build the mine. Let's bring in, let's bring over a heavy chariot to protect this new city. This is going to be really open for an attack. I mean, at least these two kind of have rough terrain around them. The river and the mountains somewhat help Cairo a lot, actually. Not so much Mecca, but Mecca is a coastal city, so that's good. But we're building, we already have the walls in Mecca, so it's all fine. Yeah, so that's, that's good. Yep, yep, that's what I figured. I don't plan to settle anymore. Like, I think I want to just destroy everybody else, and we're done. We're done settling. That's it. All I want to do is kill you now. <laughs> Once we kill you, then uh, then, we're, then we're cool. We're cool. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to build the mine. So, I'm, I'm considering hanging gardens here. What is what is this going to give us? Increased growth in 50% of our cities. It's only going to take 10 turns. I don't see anything else I really need to get up right now. And uh, we already have this open terrain right here. So... You know, I, I'm struggling building wonders because now there's even less incentive than in Civ 5 to build wonders because you don't get gold back. I've got a huge problem with that. Um, I never liked building wonders in the first place, but if you got beat out to a wonder, someone built it before you, in Civ 5 you get gold. In Civ 6, nothing. You wasted all that production. So I hope that that changes or I hope that I, I still don't think the wonders are like, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't think, I'm not seeing, usually I don't see as big of a bonus to take that huge risk. Some, some wonders are. But, um, yeah, I don't know, man. It's, it's, it's tough. It's, it's, it's a struggle. Wonder's been complete. Oh, geez, pyramids. Okay, actually, wait, I thought, oh, India got beat out then. Yeah, look at that. Bam. That's how you know they got beat out. So, that means that he did not want to get the pyramids, which is good. But, and he also wasted all that production, so that's even better. Even though he had, he had all those elephants, so I don't know. All right. So let's hope that they leave me and my new cities alone. That would be ideal. I just want to fin f just finish the rest of this continent, explore the rest of this continent, and then I'll go back home. 
I should probably be pulling back my war chariots. My, I'm sorry, my heavy chariots right now. I'm going to pull the boats back because I don't know how long I'm going to have open borders with India. If I declare war on the Aztecs, he's going to be pretty upset. He's not going to like it. So we got to be careful in that sense. I also love that there's a new, like, look at this. Look at this new thing right here. This, this window. I've not discussed it enough. This is amazing. Look at all this data. I love data. Like, this is a lot. This is way more than we would be getting from, uh, like, Civ 5 never had anything like this. Like, that's great. So I'm going to need to kind of explore that a little bit more. Okay, so you're still working all the same tiles, right? Yeah, because, well, let me lock it down. Lock it down. And if we could build an aqueduct in Cairo, that would be good, too. We can now purchase something. So let's make sure, obviously, we want to spread Islam to our cities first. See, come over here. Hopefully, I can just kind of make you guys come back this way, and then that'll be, that'll be enough. We don't really need the warrior back. It's going to take forever for us to upgrade him to... A musket man anyways so you know until we get nighter and, and the musket man then maybe so he can just keep out exploring I might auto explore him actually I might has been targeted for a declaration of war by candy Sumeria has been targeted for a declaration of war by candy so so then you're at war with it with a real sieve that's what that means you're at war with Egypt oh crap okay uh, you better not, dude. Let's remember. Let's not forget what Gilgamesh got me into. He got me into a war with Gandhi, and it was a very annoying war. I, we've got to, jeez, Gandhi's going to flip me out, man. Continue to send these missionaries of, of, uh, I keep getting to confuse Hinduism, not Buddhism, Hinduism. Yeah, we're screwed. If, if, if the Aztecs declare war on me, this city's done. What is it called? This is Damascus. Okay. Damascus and Halab, Halab, Haleb, Halab, one of those, one of those two. Let's cross our fingers. Dude, if we can build, if we can build the Hanging Garden, I'm going to be super, super pumped about that. Because the city already has so much growth. Then we just need to keep a hold of housing and uh, it'll be a really powerful city. So as I convert over Halab or Haleb, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that one. Uh, Mecca more than likely will be converted back. To Hinduism, so that's interesting. Seven turns for the holy site. Okay, so five turns for machinery, and I, uh, I'm at 4.1 gold. I'm thinking of an international trade route just so that I can get up more gold, because I'm not gonna be able to upgrade any of my archers to crossbowmen without more gold. Um, so that might be what we have to do. I'm about to be able to compete a lot more with India very soon after I get this next holy site up. Because right now I'm only making 11 faith. I think he's doing like crazy amounts. Last time I checked like 50 or something. Like something crazy. I need to keep an eye on... I think Gilgi should be okay because Egypt's capital is more than likely here. So she... There's this massive inland sea, which is something else I've not seen before. She settled across the inland sea. Um, should we keep that or should I convert over the next one? Let's, let's, yeah. Let's do the next population too. Convert over the next population is what I mean. And now we'll go monument here. It's a pretty safe city I think for the most part. So I, I don't think we're going to need walls. Alright. So here we go. We found our continent. Now I did, now I, I didn't talk about this yet in the series. But uh, for this series I have a standard map. Standards continents map. Continents, continents map. Um, but I added an extra sieve. I always like to do that because it closes down, it kind of smashes, uh, I think I think the, the maps generate a little bit too much land for eight, and that's my personal belief for, uh, for, oh, I got silver up here. So I always like to add like one more. I will definitely do a campaign where I don't do that, but um, it always kind of crams people in, and I that's partly why I think that we had this awesome, you know, disagreement here with the Aztecs, because they were so close to us. Uh, okay, so let's bring you down this way. I hope the open borders agreement ends soon with the Aztecs, because you do not get pushed out of the uh, out of the territory now when you declare war. So the so Monty, Monty could declare war on me right now, and he would stay within my borders. So that's why you need to be even more careful giving certain people open borders. Okay, so I went theology. Now we go feudalism to boost the uh, stirrups technology. 
in the tech tree. And no, give me more. Give me more faith, Jerusalem. Thank you, buddy. Um, I should check. Now, somebody wanted a holy site. I think it's Jerusalem. They want another holy site. So in three turns, we're going to complete that quest, get more envoys. Boom. Okay. That is a very nice run wonder to get. Whenever they give us boosts. Hey, I didn't know I could do that. When is that a thing? We get to look at the map below. When does that? I did not realize that that was a thing. Was that in the preview builds? Does anybody know? Holy crap, what was I doing with my life? Rumor has the Aztecs have progressed from the classical era to the medieval. So I've passed them up. Tech-wise. Cool, I've never been the, built the hanging gardens. And this is on Emperor difficulty too. So I guess we'll get 15% in all cities. In all cities. That's a, that's a really nice wonder to grab. So, let's keep a hold of housing, and with this natural wonder, I mean, that's a great one-two punch, man. That's a great one-two punch. How long is this, this going to take? Nine turns. Dang. Okay, so is there something else that I can go for while I boost that? Yes, perfect. Then we needed this. So, three turns for that. Oh, boy. That's right. Here is our unique building, and it provides more science. Five additional science plus faith. Crap, there's so much I need to do. That's going to take 12 turns. What I think is I need the temple now. So I can start going for the apostles. And then we'll go here. So if we check on, I'm sure he's generating like 100 faith now or something like that. Hey, 13, 13 wait, whoa, 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 50. Yeah, he's doing 50. But he's only converted two cities. Because I'm keeping a hold. Because he's kind of in the corner, so it makes sense. But he's making a lot of faith. That's really scary. Um, so, and I can, um, until I build the temple, I won't be able to purchase my mosques, which gives us even more faith. So, I think we're going to be okay in that sense, faith-wise. We're going to have tons of faith, man. Like, so, that's making me pretty excited. So, I also need to start upgrading archers to crossbowmen. Again, we, we should, at that point, be able to pick these guys off, because you're talking about 45 range combat strength versus, like, 28. Hong Kong, okay, you're not religious, so I don't really like you that much. Sorry, buddy, but I don't really like you that much. Gilgamesh and the Egyptians are not having a good time in their war. Or maybe, I don't know, maybe uh, Egypt is. She's bringing in reinforcements. I don't think his war chariot is too useful. Oh, crap. That damn open borders agreement is going to come back to haunt me. It's, it's haunting me already, pretty much. It's already haunting me. He can't settle here, though, can he? Uh, that's too close. I believe that's too close, so... I think we'll be okay. So I'm going to do some Empire Management over the break. Um, maybe head off into a few more turns. I don't think Monty wants any. He doesn't want none. And getting up this Hanging Gardens was probably the biggest thing I I've done for my Empire in a long time. So the next few videos will be definitely the part in the campaign where... We get to really show off Arabia as a sieve and why I think they're number one. We have our unique building coming up, our unique unit, uh, and we're really going to start to generate a lot of faith very soon. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.